Hello friends, in this video we'll be discussing one more example on chi-square test, test for goodness of it and this is our fourth example. Friends, in the first two examples we found out expected frequency by taking average. In the third example we found out expected frequency in the ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. Now we'll see this particular problem in which it is given seven coins are tossed and number of heads are noted so these are the number of heads after tossing seven coins and the experiment is repeated 128 times following distribution is obtained fit a binomial distribution from the above data and check goodness of fit if the coin is unbiased now friends if you want to attempt this question you should be very clear with binomial distribution if you don't know what exactly is binomial distribution you can skip this video and if you have some idea i try to explain but we'll go very quickly so let us start we need to fit a binomial distribution and we need to check goodness of it if you want the detailed explanation of this problem that is fitting a binomial distribution the same problem we have covered this problem in binomial distribution problem number 10 please go back and check binomial distribution problem number 10 10. I am going to revise it quickly here. First of all, let us start with the null hypothesis. Remember, whenever the problem is of fitting type, likewise in this case, we need to fit a binomial distribution. So remember, whenever the problem is of fitting type, always assume null hypothesis data follows. Data follows. Here it is binomial distribution, therefore binomial distribution if it would be some other distribution like poson so you're going to write it down as data follows poson distribution and so on so null hypothesis is fixed we're done with the first step what is your step number two alternate hypothesis data does not follow binomial distribution so two steps are done what is the next step step number three is your los part los is your level of significance here los is five percent not given i'm going to assume it degree of freedom this concept is very important here degree of freedom means n minus 1 n means number of values here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 so n is equal to 8 if you remember binomial distribution your n was 7 in case of binomial distribution why because 7 coins are tossed and this 128 is capital n but friends this n is different from what we using for chi-square test this n is for binomial distribution not for chi-square test chi-square means we're going to count the number of values number of terms here there are eight terms therefore n is equal to eight so that n and this n is totally different don't get confused so eight minus one is equal to seven so by looking at the table you will get the value of chi square alpha as 14.067 7 degree of freedom 0 0.05 los so we got first part step number four is your calculation part again it's a request first of all you should be comfortable with binomial distribution binomial distribution problem number 10 go back and check exactly the same problem we have solved but still i am revising it quickly for you people now let's look at the given problem your null hypothesis is or it is given in the problem the dice is unbiased what do you mean by unbiased dice unbiased dice means fair dice now for calculation part it is clearly given in the problem the coin is unbiased unbiased coin means fair coin if it is a fair coin and x is a random variable denoting number of heads and the coin is fair so what is the probability of head it is half because coin is proper and we always talk in terms of one experiment 
so if one coin is tossed and it is a fair coin head probability is half otherwise tail property tail probability is also half what is the formula for binomial distribution p x x is equal to n c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x and friends here n is equal to 7 and n is equal to 128 so let's put this values x equal to 0 n c x 7 c x p raised to x q raised to n minus x likewise x equal to 1 7 c 1 half raised to 1 half raised to 6 x equal to 2 7 c 2 half raised to 2 half raised to 5 3 4 7 c 3 half raised to 3 half raised to 4 7 c 4 half raised to 4 half raised to 3 7 c 5 half raised to 5 half raised to 2 next x equal to 6 and x equal to 7 7 c 6 half raised to 6 half raised to 1 7 c 7 half raised to 7 half raised to 0 if you solve you will get 1 upon 128 7 upon 128 21 upon 128 21 upon 128 7 upon 128 and lastly 1 upon 128 so these are the values of probability that i got by using binomial distribution here it is asked to find the expected frequency by using binomial distribution so let's find the expected frequency at 0 that is np so that is 128 into 1 upon 128 which is equal to 1 expected at 1 expected at 2 likewise we're going to find np at x equal to 2 that is 128 into 21 upon 128 that is 21 expected at 3 is np x equal to 3 that is 128 into 35 upon 128 x equal to 4 x equal to 5 if you want detailed explanation obviously you can refer problem number 10 of binomial distribution the same we did there with detailed explanation and lastly x equal to 7 which is n p x equal to 7 128 into 1 upon 128 which is equal to 1 so we got all the expected frequencies that is 1 7 21 35 35 21 7 and 1 so friends here the problem was to fit a binomial distribution and check goodness of it so we found out expected frequency by using binomial distribution half of the part is done of the problem now we're going to check goodness of fit so let's start for goodness of fit i'm going to find it out chi square that is observed first of all observed values are 7 6 19 35 30 23 7 and 1 so these are the observed value expected we just got 1 7 21 35 this is pascal triangle basically then observed minus expected is minus 6 minus 1 minus 2 0 minus 5 2 0 and 0 the whole square 
थर्टी सिक्स वन फोर जीरो ट्वेंटी फाइव फोर जीरो एंड जीरो माइनस एक्सपेक्टेड द होल स्क्वेयर अपॉन so that will be i'm going to divide this column with this column that is 36 by 1 is 36 then we do have 1 by 7 4 by 21 0 by anything is 0 we don't consider dash let's say 25 by 35 4 by 21 then it is dash and dash so this will be equal to point वन नाइन जीरो फाइव अगेन दिस इज पॉइंट वन नाइन जीरो फाइव कैलकुलेटर विल गेट इट पॉइंट वन फोर टू एट एंड दिस वैल्यू इज पॉइंट सेवन वन फोर टू इफ यू एड ऑल दिस वैल्यूज विल गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ का स्क्वायर विच इज थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट टू थ्री एट नाउ फ्रेंड्स लेट्स मूव ऑन एंड लेट्स कंक्लूड द लास्ट स्टेप स्टेप नंबर फाइव दैट इज योर कंक्लूजन पार्ट here mod of chi square that you got is greater than chi square alpha mod of chi square is 37.238 that we got and which is greater than chi square alpha chi square alpha is 14.067 what does that indicate if it is greater we going to reject nh and accept ah so we rejected nh what was our nh nh was data follows binomial distribution we rejected nh that means we rejecting data follows binomial distribution therefore the conclusion is data does not follow binomial distribution we're done with the problem hope you are clear with it in the next example we'll discuss whether the data follows poisson distribution or not thank you